Hey there, Project friends, and happy Tuesday. It's Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and it's time for our What's New today, our first What's New of September. Sounds crazy to even say September. Um, I personally am still wondering where May and June went. Uh, they just flew by, and then apparently I missed July and August because they're gone now, too. So we are getting into September when days start to get a little shorter, the nights get a little crisper and cooler, um, but it is still really hot here in, in Indiana. Um, the leaves are falling here, and it's not because of fall. It's because everything's dying because it's been hot and dry here in, in Indiana. So my flowers are dying. My garden's, like, done um, because it is. It's, it's just been really hot and, and dry here in our area. But all that put aside, I have some fun new stuff for you guys today. So I've got, actually, three orders checked in for you today. One is scrapbook adhesives, so just a great restock on our adhesives that we carry from them. Next one is My Sweet Petunia. My Sweet Petunia is the makers of the Misty and also the makers of that amazing precision glue press. Got that in as well. So we've got a little restock from them. And then I've got an order from our warehouse. So that's always full of fun stuff for you guys. Some new stuff and some restocks in there as well. So I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to check stuff out. All right, let's see here. Just one eyeball on here so far. Well, hopefully I did not go wrong on the wrong site. You know, before I've, I have gone um, live on a, um, a different page that I manage. So hopefully we are live on the doodle book. <laughs> Someone tell me if I'm not live on the right side, please. That would, that would be really bad. All right, so restocks we've got here for you guys from Scrapbook Adhesives. So first thing we have got, they just do really good tape runners. Um, they do all kinds of great adhesive, uh, but this one here is a, it's like a starter pack. So you do get your refill in here, or your starter, I'm sorry, you get the, the little container it comes in, the actual runner itself, and then it refills. So it is full going in, and then you've got two refills in there. Okay. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> usually I have, and now, now the eyeballs are much better. Um, so usually I, you know, ever since I've done that, I get a little panicky now whenever we don't have a, you know, a few viewers on here and I'm just afraid, great, that I go on live on the wrong place again, because you just never know about me. I pop on so quick and type stuff in that I need to slow down sometimes and pay better attention, but that's just not the nature of my beast. But all right, so great stuff we've got in here. We have got the regular runner and then two extra refills. So three refills all together. And then if this is your glue that you love and you just need a refills of it, we do carry packages that have three refills in one. This is also where we get our glue glider refills from. Now, I know the packaging looks a little different. They run two different lines for scrapbook adhesives and one is a home and hobby line the other one is this packaging right here so the these in this packaging have been out of stock so this is no different than what you're used to price is exactly the same packaging is just going to look a little bit different um, and that's the only way that i can get them so if you are needing refills for your glue gliders i've got those in stock too hello miss irene how are you today next up we've got all kinds of great foam dots back in stock so we have foam circles now Foam circles, we're going to take a little walk here. We're going to look at some circles for a minute. Let me tell you why you want the foam circles. All right, we need to walk a little further. Let me think, where are our little dancing guys? There's an empty spot for a dancing guy. Well, that does not help me at all. Um, all right, well, I've got a dancing guy up front here. I do know that. So we're going to go check that out. All right, hang with me here, kids. I want to show you why you want circle ones. So these new little dies that we have been getting in from Spellbinders, that the legs go back and forth. The legs are really gonna go back and forth easier when right in there, okay? If you put a circle pop dot in there. See how that just fits right in there? 
put a circle one in there. That way the legs go back and forth nice on there. Well, I think I probably glued him in there wrong. I did. I didn't put him far enough up. Um, you want your legs to be on a circle pop dot in there. That way they can be nice and flowy. All right, just, I can do this afterwards, but you know me. If I don't do it right now, I'll forget. So then that way your legs go back and forth really nice on that little circle pop dot. If you do a square one in there, it kind of gets a little crunchy as it's trying to flow, if, if that makes sense. So you definitely, if you've got any of the dancing anythings, you're gonna wanna have circle foam for those. You can do a big one, you can do a small one, does not matter. You just wanna make sure that it is a circle one. So if you've done the dancing moose, the dancing tree, the dancing, oh, what is there, a nutcracker? There's an elf there too now. So you do want to make sure you pull out your circles for that one. Then next up, I'm going to show you the, oh, I guess we are side by side here. So they do the 3D foam squares with a big and a small in the pack. And I know some of you prefer one of those sizes over the other or just go through more of those sizes quicker than the other. So we also get those in, in all large squares and all small squares. So we've got the mix pack for the foams and then we've got the large squares and small squares back in stock. And Miss Debbie wants a circle. You've got it, friend, thank you. Then we also carry those in the thin. These are my favorites for whenever you're doing any of those 3D um, layer, the, the, like the paper tolling, decoupage, 3D little embellishments, little toppers, these guys right here. So if you've been playing around with those, now of course you can use regular foam, but I think they look kind of nicer with the thin. Um, because it keeps the layers really, really kind of closer together. And I think it just makes a prettier finished project, especially if you've got some that have like four or five layers, they can get really thick. And if you're wanting to send them through the mail, um, you probably don't want it to be, you know, like an inch or so high. And look at all those fun ones that we've got in right now. Aren't these just so, oh, I love this section. It just makes me happy to come over there or over here. So, all right, Miss Debbie wants a thin one. You've got it. So adding that to my pile here, perfect. And then Diana wants a circle and a small and a large foam, got it. Then the last thing we got in from Scrapbook Adhesives is the little micro squares. Now, these are super tiny. These are not something you're going to use on everything. But you know sometimes when you've got little bitty parts and pieces, like say for a bird or you know Christmas tree and you're putting ornaments on and you want some of those to be popped out, it is so much easier, I think, to use a pre-cut little foam than to try and cut something down. You try and cut it down, you're trying to cut it small. Well, you kind of crush it, first of all, whenever you bring your scissors to it, so sometimes it doesn't quite pop back up really nice, then you get sometimes a little bit of gum on your scissors. Well, that's not fun either. So I think it's just easier to have the, um, the foam already pre-cut for you. So I do like the little micro squares for that reason. And again, it's not something I use all the time, but it is definitely nice to have when you need them. Micro squares for Debbie, you've got it, friend. Next up, moving on. So here is our My Sweet Petunia order. Kim wants some micros, you've got it. Um, we got back in stock the Precision Glue Presses. This is a glue um, glue gun. Maybe we should call it like a, not really glue holster either, but I know a lot of people at first thought because it said gun that it was more like a hot glue gun or the glue was hooked in there somehow. No, this is like a trigger holder for your glue bottle. In here, what you get the rubber band just holds it all together in shipping. You get an extra bottle in here. 
we do sell bottles by themselves. You get an extra bottle. Um, that is a 950 value right there. And then this one, you can put your favorite glue in there if you don't love the glue that comes with it. Now, it comes with Nouveau glue. And Nouveau glue is, it's really, it's my go-to glue. I love the liquid Nouveau glue. Now, on here then, let me get this little guy popped off. Once you take your lid off, notice in the middle here, you've got a little pink dot. That's a little piece of pink silicon down at the bottom. So that helps to create a little uh, vacuum whenever you put your little glue gun in here. So I just took my cap off. You know how you're going to always lose it on your desk? Nope. There's a little spot right here that holds your cap. Then you can go and use your glue. You just pull the trigger here and it has two different tips that come with it. A super, super fine tip comes with it. And then this has more of what I would consider a regular tip in the other one. Then you can put your little gun in here. Whenever you do that, it's hard to tell in the camera here, but the tip hits that little piece of silicon and that keeps your glue from drying out while it's on your desk. Do I put this away when I'm done? I do. I know not all crafters do and, and I've heard lots of great success stories where it doesn't get clogged or anything like that. But you know, sometimes friends, it's like a week and a half until I get back up to my craft area and who knows, I mean, something can come along, knock it over, whatever. And I really don't want to mess my tip up. So I do close mine up whenever I am done with it. All you simply do, it is nice. See how the caps have a little needle in there? Just line that back up, and then you're going to close up your bottle. Um, so the precision glue press, you get the little gun, you get a thing of glue, and you get an extra bottle as well. So I ordered two more cases of those. Um, we just sold our last one the other day. So we have been, we've been lucky. We have not ran out of these. Um, I don't know if she has more in, but I've been told um, it was just a, it was a little shipment until October. And then October will be a small shipment as well. Because remember, as things start to get cold, glue will freeze. Okay. So I don't think she wanted to over order for winter stock that she can't ship out anyway, or she can last year. They put a little, um, Oh, I think it's actually, it's in here now. Is it in here now? Hmm. Nope, I don't think it is. Uh, but there was a little, little disclaimer. So in case your glue froze on the way to you, they were not liable for it. Um, so just please keep that in mind. This glue is a water-based glue, so it can freeze. So there's little glue presses back in stock. Empty bottles back in stock. And then we've had a couple requests for the creative corners that you use in your Misty kind of allows you just a little extra wiggle room in your Misty. It allows you to align things up a little differently as well. So we've also got creative corners in from my Sweet Petunia as well. So I'm adding those to the shelf as well. But you can kind of see here, it helps you to line stuff up. It also allows you to move your card, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit further into the center of your Misty, especially if you've got some bigger stamps that just don't do well in the corner. So it kind of allows you to move little things around that way. So creative corners are in stock. So that is order number two. Order number three is a small but, small but fun order in from the warehouse. First up in this order, we got in the brand new Tim Holtz Media Rulers. This is a 12 inch ruler. I wanna show you some really neat little aspects I like about this ruler as well. So you can see the packaging here. I know he just went live the other day and kind of talked about this ruler. So if you watched the live, I will be honest, I did not. So if you watched his live and you wanna jump in with any things you learn, please, please, please feel free to do that. First up on both sides of this ruler is a little, um, I don't want to call this sticky strip. They're little silicon stoppers. So it's got little, and what, what they're calling grip rails. So it's got a great little grip rail that comes all the way across, okay? And that is really keeping it nice and on my surface. 
Okay. Oh, before I forget, these are right at 18. That's how much these are. So you've got a great little grippy on there. Now on this side too, there are some little grips on this side. So if you would accidentally flip it over, it's not a long channel, it's just little dots, but it still gives it some good stability on the other side. Next up, we've got great measurements in standard or inches. And then we've also got metric on the other side. It's also been um, kind of etched. So you can see it's even broken it down into eighth of an inch and quarter of an inch on there. Each side has an inset metal, little lip or a little metal edge. Why is that nice? That is nice whenever you are using any kind of straight blade along the edge of this. That will prevent you from gouging into your ruler with your X-Acto blade knife. So that's really important as well. Then we've also, with stitching being so popular right now, there is also little bitty little dots or holes in there that are great for using with your craft pick to where you can make little stitching dots. Now, on this side, this is our metric side. So you can see they're gonna be just a little bit closer together than what they are on this side. So basically you've got two different stitch lengths that you can do on here, which I think is really nice as well. So you've got two different sides where you can do stitches and they've got spacing that's you know different on each of them. Each of these are five millimeters apart, so two per each centimeter. And on the other side, they are a quarter of an inch apart. So that's kind of fun with the new little rulers. It does have a little hole up here, so that way you can hang it if you would want to and they're 12 inches. So there's the new little media rulers from Mr. Tim Holtz. Next up, at this one here, it is a special item, a special order item, but we can always get more. This is just a little flip book from Stem Simple Stories. So it's got four by six photo sleeves in there, little photo protectors, and that's it. It's just a cute little inexpensive mini book. And I had a grandma come in and she wants to do a little mini book for um, I don't want to say for each year, it's going to be for all the years of Santa holding her new grandbaby. I thought, well, that is such a sweet idea. And I'm, and she's, you know, doing a scrapbook for them as well. But she said, I just want, you know, just one little separate album. I don't want anything big. I want it like four by six in size where it has nothing but you know, on Santa's lap pictures. And how cool is that gonna be just to see really quickly how much they've changed in a year. So I thought that was just a great little idea there. And of, and of course she wanted red for Christmas. So red four by six snap album is in. This item here is from Totally Tiffany. It is the five by seven tabbed divider pockets. I will tell you, these have been on back order for months and months and months. I am hoping it might be a sign that maybe we'll get some magnetic sheets back in stock as well. Not for sure, but hopefully we will. So this one here, again, it fits the Karen buddy bag wonderfully. It also fits the five by seven paper taker and the five by seven fab file as well. There's that one. Also from Crafters Companion, because Crafters Companion owns Totally Tiffany, if you did not know that, but they bought them a while back. We got back in stock the Gemini 2 cutting plates. These cutting plates are designed for the double-sided dies that Crafters Companion makes. Honestly, I don't carry the double-sided dies. I carry this because this is a great cutting pad that is really good with not warping. Um, I know Jennifer McGuire has highly recommended it. Uh, the company that we get our photo dies from, they have recommended that this one right here because their dies are a little deeper than most dies are as well. So these are a back in stock item. For our 49 and market section, um, we got back in the evergreen season chipboard. 
told you guys before, chipboard is one that sells super, super quick. Um, usually the chipboard words leave a lot sooner um, as well, but I think we've already restocked the chipboard words for this one a couple times. But the cute little chipboard pieces here for evergreen season. Also heading to our Christmas section. This is new and you're gonna see a little bit more of this come in in the next day or so. It's a new line from Echo Park called Baking Spirits Bright. And it is a baking line and it's got gingerbread in it as well. So this right here is the washi that goes with that line. You can see you've got little gingerbread men and gingerbread women. So it's the Baking Spirits Bright washi. That is a new item in stock. Next is another restock item. This is the little retractable markers from Zebra. It's part of their Click Art line. This is the dark palette. So you've got some great colors in there. They do have a really nice bullet writing tip. If I can get them open. Like I said, this is not a new item for us. It is a restock. I've got one gal that misplaced them. So she came in and she was so excited to see that we had gotten some back in stock because she can't find hers. I'm assuming probably, <coughs> excuse me, probably a younger crafter has taken off with all of them if I had to guess. And there's your tip. So it is a really nice size writing tip. It's got a nice little click to it. So it'll retract it back in there as well. Um, and this is the dark set. There's a dark set and a light set available too. So that's a restock. Another restock heading to our marker section. These are glossy oil-based paint markers. And we carry them because they have this ultra extra fine tip on them. So it's not a bullet tip by any means. It's a really nice, fine, almost like ballpoint pen tip. And you get them in gold, white, and black in your three set here. Next item is a brand new item. So not only is this gonna be great in our outdoors section, but if you have specific travel to Colorado, this is absolutely perfect. So I've already got one opened up here for you. It is from Reminisce. It's one of their brand new paper lines. So you're gonna get two of each paper in here. So again, love these. It's gonna be great for any kind of nature trip that you've taken, camping trip. Look at these great mountains you've got on here. And then again, if you're specific for Colorado, we've got Colorado printed really big on the back. Next, we've got a nice little map here for you. And on the back, it's a really cool, I'm sure that's some kind of, you know, iconic Colorado symbol, but is that not just the coolest paper as well? So there's that one. And then also the sticker sheet that comes in here as well. Oh, it looks like that must be their state flag. So I thought that was definitely a fun one. The little border stickers down there too. Okay, so Colorado paper kits in stock. Another brand new item. We have been having the hardest time getting in our pearlized vellum from Lawn Fawn. And friends, it's because Lawn Fawn has been having the hardest time. I don't know if they lost their source for it or what. I do have a new one coming in from them. Um, but in the meantime, I was able to find a pearlized silver there we go, I think you can see that. Yep, a pearlized silver vellum that Tonic is making. Oh, makes you wanna go back? I've never been there. So definitely makes me want, want to go. I have not been a lot of places, I'll be honest, but I have not been to Colorado. I'm gonna say it's on my bucket list, but every state is on my bucket list. So beautiful is what I have heard out there. Um, I have people talk about, you know, going out there, you know, once a year even because it's just such a neat, neat state. And then the pearlized vellum was next. 
After that, just a restock heading to our trimmer section in the store. This is for your Fiskars triple track trimmers. Um, this is an eye blade. It's a high profile eye blade. Um, it just means that it's the high profile only means that this little piece here sticks up a little bit further. I find it's easier to grasp as well whenever you are cutting. So those are back in stock. Then we had someone looking for a nice silver color for the Nouveau Drops. And the color I'd been getting, you know, wasn't restocking. And I figured it out it's because it's been discontinued and I didn't know that. So I got in a new one. It's a little bit lighter than our other one that we had before. This one is called Silver Lining. So just a nice pearly silver Nouveau Drop. That in. Then we also restocked, I think, almost all of our page kits for 49 and market. So we got back in, and even if I don't carry the line anymore, these page kits are just awesome. I love them. Um, they're quick, they're easy, they're fun. You don't have to think a lot, but if you want, you can always do your own thing with them as well. Silver Nouveau for you, Miss Diane. You got it, my friend. So this one here is the Spectrum Gardenia. Each of them is going to make four different pages and they're all around 30. This one here is the Tranquility. We have not had the Tranquility one in, um, I just decided to restock it. I bet I haven't had this one in for almost a year now. So check your stash for sure. You may not have the Tranquility one if you have kind of discovered these page kits later. Next one is for last year's summer line, the Sunburst line. I think this one's so good. I don't have this one yet, and I love it. I need to get it. And look at all the fun stuff you get in here as well. Spice. Spice was last year's fall line. Had such beautiful, bright but fall colors. Love the Spice one. I loved this line, too. It was one of my favorite lines that they've done so far. Or you can kind of get an idea of the colors in that one. And then finally, Moonlit Garden. And then there's the four pages that Moonlit Garden makes. <coughs> I have such the tickle. Gosh dang it. Gosh but darn it. All right, next up. We have got our We Are Makers stamp cleaning station back in stock. It's a great little double scrubber stamp pad. Um, I like it because it has a really great microfiber, micro, fi, micro, yeah, microfiber um, surface on one side. One side comes out um, so you can clean it. That's your, your dirty side. And then you've got a dry side. And the dry side is the one that's got that, you know, really great kind of microfiber there to where it really absorbs any extra cleaner you've got, uh, makes your stamp nice and squeaky clean. And then that way you can stamp right away again. So you can see here, you've got two different sides. You're gonna spray your cleaner on one side. That's the same side that you're gonna really scrub the ink off on. That is the same side that will come out if you need to clean it, okay? Then you're going to move on to the other side, that blue side, and that's where you're going to dry it with the super absorbent surface. And it says wash, brush, and absorbent surfaces as, oh, so the wash, the brush, and absorbent surfaces as needed. And the brush side really comes out super easy for that, okay? So I've got stamp cleaning station, and then I also tried, I have not tried this yet, um, but they also make their own stamp cleaner. And I thought, huh, you know, we are memory keepers, we are makers now, it's such a good company. Um, I really like their products, so I decided to bring in their stamp cleaner and try that as well. All right, four packs of the Colorado. You've got it, Miss Kim. I only got two in for now, so I'll get two more on reorder for you. So again, restock and then new item. Next up, all new items. So this is super fun. So this is from Crafters Companion and it's part of their thankful and blessed line they just did. So I chose to bring in the, um, so is it Nature's Garden? 
Well, I'm not for sure which one it is because it's got nature's garden and they all say thankful and blessed. So crazy. But anyway, so this one here is the thankful and blessed stamp set. So you've got a great little stamp set in here. It's acrylic and it says pick up the patch, give thanks, thankful and blessed. Never lose your sense of wonder. Warm greetings. No matter what the season, I am here for you. Oh, that's a good one. Um, Woodland Wanderer. Grateful for all you do. Thank you. You're a blessing. Adventure awakes and always take the scenic route. So that is a brand new stamp set. Stamp cleaner for Miss Kim. You've got it, friend. Thank you. Next up, uh -huh, look at this little guy. These are so stinking cute. So this is called Forest Mushrooms. Oh, the stamp was called Be Grateful. I didn't tell you that. Be Grateful. And then we've got Forest Mushroom. So a great little die set here that can be used with this nude line or just on anything your heart desires. But mushrooms are super, super hot right now. And for my, my, my fungi fans, I keep trying to find different items for you. Um, so we've got this great little caps here. You can see here's another one. It's going to do the little dots there. So, so fun. You've got little stems. Check out that little guy. There's his little cap. Oh my gosh, here's that little, um, you can see that little fan that a lot of mushrooms have on the stem. You know, larger and smaller stems here as well. So you've got three different mushrooms in here. So you have one, two, three different caps going on. So super fun. Love, love this, this one. So again, that is the Forest Mushrooms die. Um, how much is the stamp set? I don't remember because I just checked it in. It was between, I mean, it's a stamp set this size, so it's got to be less than 15. I'm thinking maybe around 13 was what the stamp set was. But yeah, I mean, that's kind of the size there. So usually those stamp sets are around 16 or smaller. So we've got a mushroom die going from Miss Starla. You've got it, friend. I figured you would love it. Then also in this line, now this one I thought was super cool as well. This is called Silver Birch. So this is an oval set and it's got, and look at the mushrooms in there as well. Is that not awesome? You've got two different options here. So you can inset this in and then you're gonna have that great little oval lining around it. Or you could just do this without the oval. And then this is like your card front. So see, that would continue on. So maybe you've just got a big piece of white that you're cutting and that's your entire card front. Or you can add the oval back in there. And now it's gonna create this really cool kind of frame. So I thought this one was really, really neat. So this is called Silver Birch. There's that one, brand new with this series. And then the last thing that I got in for this series is called Wood Bark Embossing Folder. There's that one, and again, there's a different die, or different um, card using that mushroom die. So a couple great little ideas here for you. So if you're getting the mushrooms, so Starla, I'm gonna hover so you can screenshot, screenshot, and screenshot. So three great little card ideas there. This one is just basically a good wood grain embossing folder. I think a wood grain embossing folder is just one of those things all of us should have. They're really multi-purpose. They're great for fall cards. They're great for masculine cards. Um, they're good for just texture in the background as well too. So they're just fun ones for sure. And this is a 3D one, so it's gonna give you a little bit of that deeper edge to it as well, a little deeper impression. Next up, so we have not had this one in for a while, but I know with a lot of our crops coming up, people are gonna be working on their summer pictures. So we've gotten back in stock, the Hometown USA Layout and Card Kit. I know I just finished mine the other day. I started it, I did one side and finally got the other side done. And it is such a cute little page kit. And then I figured, well, I might as well get the kits back in and bring my pages in to show off as a sample of it. So this layout and card kit back in stock. 
And then last but not least, our final two items of the live today. Nothing crazy fun, but oh my gosh, we have been out of the We Are Ring page protectors for a few weeks now. Um, and that's kind of a big deal for a scrapbooking store when you are out of page protectors, but they have been out of stock. So I made sure I got like nine in in this order just in case they run out again. So this will kind of last me a little while, maybe. Um, hopefully, I'm still waiting on the 50 packs to come in stocks. I know a lot of you like to buy them in the 50 packs. Those have been out of stock for quite a while as well. But these are perfect for your um, ring bound 12 by 12 scrapbooks. So these are from the We Are Memory Keepers. And we also got back in stock the eight and a half by 11 page protectors as well. And that is all of our fun stuff today. So if you hopped on a little late, we did start with adhesive restock from Scrapbook Adhesives, also known as 3L. They kind of got two names in the industry. Then we have a order in from My Sweet Petunia, that's who makes Misty, where we got the creative corners in, restocked our precision glue presses and restocked our empty bottles. And then we went into our reorder new stuff from the warehouse. So we've got a little bit of both, a little bit of fun new stuff and some oldies but goodies being restocked. And then what do I have in store for you tomorrow? No idea, but there's like 10 million boxes up there. Um, as I, I did get, you know, more orders out today, which was exciting. So I think anyone or most of the online orders that got placed over the weekend, first of all, thank you. Um, those all went out today. Got a few others out. Just, you know, some of you that reached your, your shipping number got you guys out as well. So that is coming. Um, orders I placed. I don't know why I'm placing orders because... This is my area to receive. But yet, yesterday, because you know, it's kind of a day off, I felt like oh, I'm not gonna really work, so I just shopped. I shopped for you guys. So I did, um, let me see, who did I order? Hero Arts, I've got that one ordered. I got Paper Rose ordered, Uniquely Creative ordered. I feel like there was one more in there too. Um, but yeah, so I for sure got those ordered for you guys. Um, last week was Lawn Fawn, more Doodle Bug is coming. I got those done last week. Um, so lots of great new orders coming. Oh my gosh, it's just, again, out of control. So lots of great new orders coming in. And then what else? Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. I know why I brought you up. Hold on, let me, let me see. Here they are. Okay, so if you are part of that 49 and Market Air Group, um, you're going to get the radio here. I'm going to kind of come up here. So that is that great little exclusive tote that 49 and Market did for us. And then in this $65 bundle kit, you're going to get the exclusive tote. You get a 6x8 paper pad. You get mini lasers. You get an exclusive pack of rub-ons. You get two different packs of flowers. You get a chipboard pack and you get the 12 by 12 collection pack. Well, there are 40 some stores involved in this, okay? Each store is um, required as part of being in the bundle um, and getting you guys that deal in the exclusive bag. Each store is required to do some kind of project. Projects can be home decor, pages, mini books, um, cards. I chose to do cards this time. So I finished my cards over the weekend. So I'm super excited about those. They were, they were due on um, Friday night. I turned mine in Saturday. <laughs> I know you're really shocked. I know. Um, but that's what I did with my day off. So remember how I took my day off on Saturday? This is what I worked on. I made cards and then I typed up all my instructions um, with measurements and all that. I love this one. Is that one not so good? Oh my gosh. Love, love, love this line. Um, and I just, you know, did some fun little techniques things like that. So, oh, thank you, Debbie. So if you have not gotten your bundle and you want to get your bundle, we do still have kits available. 
the classes just started this weekend and they will run until November. Um, and so it's just, it's a great way to learn a lot, um, you know, experience, you know, different, you know, stores, how they teach and, and just different projects. And if you don't want to do them with this line, a lot of them can be adapted to other lines as well. So it is really, really fun. Um, but anyway, so those are the um, 49 and Market Air class bundles and they're 65 so just wanted to show you guys those again since um, I'm so super excited that I finally got my project done um, but I've seen my friends is they a lot of them you know did mini books there's lots of mini books but I did cards because I know a lot of times we need quick Christmas cards and none of these are extremely hard um, because I wanted something that where you guys could definitely easily put together in it I mean just an hour or so so anyway, all right, classes so far have been awesome, Sarah is saying. I think so as well. I've seen, um, so I know so far there's been a, like a mini book, um, like a waterfall thing coming up, or that maybe that was this weekend. And then my friend Renee kicked it off. She did a great uh, scrapbook page, so all kinds of fun stuff. So that is the 49 in market bundle if you haven't taken part of that. And that, well, friends, I think... I think that is officially it then for us today. So thanks so much for popping in, tuning in, and checking out what is new today at the Doodle Bug. I am Hannah from the Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana. Um, we're done a little early, which is super, super nice, which means I might be able to go home on time today. But it also means that I am going to work on checking in more orders as soon as we get off here. And then that way, maybe I will be... I'm ahead of the game a little bit tomorrow and maybe, you know, have something done and ready to go. Maybe, maybe even priced for you, Marilyn. I don't know. Maybe, but maybe I'll even get it priced in between then as well. Linda does come back tomorrow for a little bit. Short and shift, I believe, tomorrow. We'll see how she does. She's still, still a little sore from her surgery, um, but she will be back tomorrow. So I'm super excited to get her back and in the store and which will help me get caught up as well. So, alrighty, friends, thank you so much and I will see you all tomorrow. See you. Bye.